Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. And today, and the topic today, we will talk about the preparation that was done with, for the Israelites in their exodus from Egypt and the same pattern that will apply for us today. But before we start, let me remind you to watch all of our videos, to subscribe, to like, click the bell icon and be part of our community. Also join our website triple slash grace.com Become a member so that you have access to all the videos and all the information. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And let us talk today about what happened in the Exodus from Egypt. The people were called out by Moses. But you just do not go and step right away into the desert. There are some preparations. And these preparations will be done even today for our great exodus towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. The first thing that you have to do is to put the resources together. Everybody who had resources, everybody who had access, has put everything together into the hands of Moses and the, and the leaders of the exodus so that they could move out together. Everybody who has more than the others would have given it into one verse. So that, that will benefit now everybody. Because if you move in a huge group, then everybody has a need and everybody must be satisfied. Otherwise, this group will be split into smaller groups and, and then fall apart finally. So what they did before they moved out of Egypt is they asked the Egyptian for gold and silver as it is written in the Bible. They received this one and then they give all the wells into the hand of Moses. And then they were ready now to do the next step. So the first step is to provide the funding, provide the provisions, to provide the resources, to provide the money and put it into one purse. Second, is then to select the leaders and the elders who could then guide the different camps into one group together. Now this is what we are doing right now. We are, we are getting the funds together and all of you have a part to play in this one. And if you have access or anything to help, just follow the links in the description box below to make your donation so that we get all the resources together. Because it's a many years operation and it's a worldwide operation. So we need a lot of provision for that. So please, if you can help us, send us your donation so that we can spread the great exodus over the whole world. But now the next, what we are doing right now is to call for the elders, the state and national leaders, so that we can then put the societies of the rose into the nations as a camp. Now you have this camp here in America and another camp in Africa, another camp in Asia and all this, but all are belonging to the great exodus. This is like the tribes, the tribes that were there. And after you have done the leaders, then you make the, the for marching formation, like you were said, first the tribe of Judah and then like that in this case. And now you also put forth how you will march forward to Mount Zion. Only this time, because of the huge multitude, we will all walk equally. There's nobody goes in front there except maybe <coughs> a few leaders and prophets that will guide us together with the angels. But on the other side, we are all equal and we will walk together. So we are also, we have different societies of the rose. We will be one big camp under the commonwealth of the Father. And then we walk that path together. But even in, in the time of the Exodus from Egypt, Moses was leading one big group. Also, there were different 
crabs inside, but they were all in one and were all equal and walked that path to Mount Zion. Now, and when you have now the funds, the leaders, the marching orders and all this together, then now it's for you individually to pack your bags and to say, okay, I'm coming out of the world, I'm coming out of Babylon, and you make yourself ready so that we can move out. This is the preparation that the Israelites in Egypt made by at the day when the firstborn were taken and killed by God in, for the Egyptians, and they put the blood on the doorpost so that they get protected. This was the final and last step that they had to do. So let me re recap it again. First, funding. All the funds that you have in excess, please provide right now the links in the description box below so that we have a huge purse to assist all the people who are willing to make societies of the rose and who are willing to walk with us in the great exodus and to come out of the world and out of Babylon towards the holy mountain. It needs provision because we operate worldwide and you are called for us now to help with these provisions. Open your heart, come together. If you want to walk in this great exodus, you should help and support us. This is the way how it will always was done in Egypt and how it will be done right now. And then now become an elder of your society of the rose, become a state or national leader in your country. And then we talk together about the formation that we want to do, how we want to connect the individual societies of the rose worldwide so that we can march out of the world and out of Babylon and can be separated and can stand strong against the Antichrist because the time of the seals is at our hand. And then at the last stage everybody gets ready and we step out and separate ourselves from the world and from Babylon and stay outside in a separated group and we will start to walk towards the holy mountain, Mount Zion. I know it sounds strange for many years, but this is exactly what happened in Egypt and that is exactly what will happen right now. During the time of the seals is the coming out of the world and out of Babylon and the walking towards the holy mountain. At the holy mountain, there the multitude closed and wide will be ruptured into paradise. And you can be part of it. Just join us, bring in your provisions, become an elder or a leader, and prepare yourself and then walk with us out of the world and out of Babylon. Stay separated in societies of the rose, in assemblies of love and righteousness, complete separated from the world and from Babylon. Read again about the Exodus, read again about Moses and the Israelites and how they prepared. Follow the same pattern. Get ready. Bring everything together. Put donations, put everything forth. Help that we can start now. That we can gather as many people together. That we can win souls in all the continents, in all the nations. That we can bring as many people to righteousness as possible. Thank you that you are listening to my message. Thank you that you have joined and helped and made donations and brought everything for us. You understand what is at stake. Because if you remain in the world and in Babylon and Antichrist will take over and you do not want to take the mark, but you remain in the world, you have only the choice to die as a murderer. But if you come out of the world, and have nothing to do with the world, Babylon, and Antichrist, then you can walk as a living soul towards Mount Zion and be raptured there, still living. It's a choice between death and life that you have to take. So please listen to all and follow what we have said, the instructions. They're not coming from our mouths, but they're given by the Holy Spirit. So help us to go forward Join us, become part of it. The movement towards the holy mountain, towards the dwelling place of the Father. I love you all so dearly and I thank you that you are here with me for these videos every day.
And I know that God will bless you and your family abundantly. So please help us to establish all this and bring the people out, out of the world and out of Babylon. Every small thing that you can provide will count. All the links for donations and the inscription box below. Fulfill your part and help us to move forward and start. And I know I will see you again tomorrow for the next, again, important video. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And I wish you a blessed day. Maranatha.